Hey guys, this is my intro for my 20 in 2020 makeup project pen. So let us just begin. Okay, so first up, this is from A Concept and this is the triple full cover. So this product, there's actually three pens over here, but I'm counting it as two products. If you find this familiar, this was actually in my 2019 project pen, but I did not finish it up. So these are the two shades that I'm working with in this project. This pink shade over here already has a pretty decent dip, but there is no pen showing. So that is my intro. And then over here, this is actually a concealer color, which I barely ever touch. So there are some hand fingerprints inside and I'm going to be working on this from here on out. Next up, let's look at this one which is another face-based product and this one is actually new to this project. This is from Innisfree, it's a primer, it's called the No Sebum Blur Primer and I do really enjoy it and let me see, okay so I actually marked it over here so if you feel that my lines are very thick and uneven, it's because I gave up halfway and I just started using a nail polish and a toothpick to mark them so it's a very thick line but it's very black and you can see it so that's good. So I squeeze it all the way here and this line over here is where I can bend the packaging over. I'm just going to assume that is my beginning line. So I finished this amount and I still have so much to go through. I'll be working on this one because it is the oldest primer that I have in my collection. So now moving on, oh this is a green primer and I've also had this in the pre previous project which means I've had it for a while now. And this, you can actually see a gap when I squeeze it so hard is where I can bend it down, so that is my intro line. This green product is actually the green corrector from LA Girl, it's the Pro Conceal Concealer line. If you look at it from the side, it is actually pretty flat, uh, obviously flatters here because that's why I always push it up like that. And I like the product but I'm just not that into this packaging, so I really hope to use it up because it just feels like this tip is always collecting germs. Next up, let's move on to foundation. This was actually also in my 2019 project but I did not use it that much. So now that I've finished up all the other foundations, this one over here is actually the oldest that I have in my collection. And I would say this foundation to me is either my favourite or second favourite. So I really want to use it up before it goes bad. So I'm around halfway, so I marked it over here because this packaging is pretty translucent because of the frosted glass. But you can see over here, there's a lot of gaps over here, whereas over here it just looks darker. So no matter how I uh, make it stand up, it just will not settle down. But since the gap is here, so I'm assuming I'm down here now. Let me tell you what this is first. This is from Collection Cosmetics and it is the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Foundation. And I have mine in the shade Cool Beige 4. This shade really worked for me but now it just doesn't work for me. Like I used it today and I feel that my face is a lot darker than my neck. So I definitely have to mix with this one which is also inside the project. This is from Catrice and it's just the prime and fine line. The beige packaging is just lightening makeup transformer drops. I had this in my project last year too because I needed to use this together or it just would not work for me. As much as I do not want to use that foundation now because the shade just does not work right, it's very orangey and dark. I'm going to turn to this one to help save the skin match. <laughs> and I'm actually over here now. This is still super full. So I bent it down and it is over here. That's the intro line. Alright, so another thing from Collection Cosmetics and this one is the Lasting Perfection and Ultimate Wear Concealer. All the words are still here because it is pretty brand new. I have used this, I want to say, six or five or six, seven times. It is in the shade Cool Medium 2 which is again a little bit off. This is probably one of my top favourite concealers and I definitely want to use it up before it goes bad or dries out because uh, this is my second tube. So the first tube that I had was actually inside last year's project pan and I finished it up. And from my experience with it, this dries out very fast so I want to use it up quickly. We're kind of moving in the step that I put on makeup because next up we have this one over here which is the RCMA No Color Powder and you can see this is all that I'm left with. So just ignore all the lines and just look at the thickest nail polish black line over here. That is my intro line. It doesn't look like much left but this progress over here was what I made when I had this in a project last year. So hopefully I can finish this product in 2020. Okay next up I have a very exciting thing because I'm actually putting in color products in this project. When I did it in 2018 and 2019, I never put in any color products because I just like to rotate through them and use whatever I feel like on that day itself. This over here is a palette, face palette from Pony Effect and it's just called 
Oh, all the words are in Korean, but I just have mine in the shade Fabulous. I think they have Marvelous and Fabulous, just two shades. I am going to count this as four products because they are all different colors, all different functions. So it's just one pen is one product. First up, this one over here is actually a matte product, uh, but it's a little bit like lightening effect kind of product. So what I will use this for is under my eyes, but I never bother to. But since it's inside the project, I will definitely try to do so from now on. You can see that it is all pretty flat, all the powders over here. So for this product specifically, I have one line over here. So that's one line of pen. Now moving on to highlight, and this one is just a highlight that works very well for my skin tone. One thing to note is that all the powders in here, they are very soft, very Korean style. So it's like not like bam colors in your face. So you can actually build up and use quite a lot of it at once, which is how I managed to finish this highlight because it is definitely not the most blinding highlight. I have a third pen and like I hit the side pen over here. Now let's move on to the top part, which is the slowest progress. Um, this one over here is the blush and it's just like a pink blush. It's flat in the middle and I can see the three lines which is the underlying pen but there is no pen yet and then now over here this is the bronzer this shade just works really well for me too and once again I can see the three lines in the middle but no pen I had this product for I want to say three years so <laughs> three years to barely finish up a highlight I'm going to be working on this and hopefully I can finish all four pens and throw this whole thing out <laughs> next up I have a mist which I use for just this part over here only when my skin is a little bit dry and this one is from Calm Leaf Rose Blooming Mist like today I didn't actually use this because my jaw area looks fine and I put this into a makeup project pen because I specifically only use this after I finish my makeup and if some parts of my face look dry I don't use this for skincare so I put this into the project last year and I was here and I managed to use up so much because last time my skin was a lot drier now my skin is starting to go towards more normal so I definitely slow down my usage on this but I need to use this up because this is a pretty old product so that is my intro line over here Next up, another product that's also a setting spray and this one is from Max & More. I bought this when I was in Poundland in London and it's just called Makeup Setting Spray. It's 60ml and it is a black packaging so I'm unable to see through but because I had this in the project last year so it feels like when I shake it around, I have around half left. There is also no marking on this because black on black just won't show up. So this one is really a lot of guesswork. I'm just gonna assume I'm around here. Okay, next up, let's see something that we can actually see on the paper. And the first thing that I have over here is Lot and & Berry. And this is a pretty new brand to me. I actually got this pencil in a Look Fantastic subscription box. And I really enjoy it. So it's so small because it's called 221 Travel Black. It's an eyeliner pencil and I really enjoy the formula. It's very creamy, uh, a little bit dangerous because we are summer 365 days. That's why I only use this on the where my lashes are and then on the other half, like the wing, I use something else. So let me just show you the starting point. Okay, so this is where I am for Lot & Berry eyeliner and this is the intro. You can see my tip is actually on the paper over here. So yeah. That's the starting line. Now that I finally talk about this product, I can go and sharpen this for tomorrow's usage. Okay, next up. Something else on the paper is actually this from Etude House and it's just an eyebrow pencil. I had this open in my collection for a while but I never really used it unless I was traveling and I had this in a collection because of this side, the spoolie, because my previous eyebrow pencil did not come with a spoolie. So I haven't really used this grey pencil much. Actually, this wasn't supposed to be inside a project pen, but oh, I'm not gonna roll it up. But when I was measuring my previous Too Cool for School eyebrow pencil that I was going to include in this project, after I marked it, the whole thing just snapped off. So here we go, we're going to start using this now. I marked it on the paper, and this is my intro line. So I have definitely a good bit to go because, you know, eyebrow pencil you don't use a lot. And I'm really happy because I'm trying to not dye my hair so much. You can see that the top part is actually black. So now it finally matches my eyebrows so well. 
this color just blends into my eyebrows because it's just the right color. Before that, my Tuku for school was actually a brown one and this one is a gray and it is those uh, triangle tip. So I do like how it draws. It's very easy to draw but because it isn't one of those very thin pencils, it's going to last a while. So the product that I used to draw my wing instead of using the Lot & Berry is actually this product over here from Avro which is a relatively new brand to me. If I'm not wrong, it's a French brand and it's a very new brand here in Singapore. And this is just called the eyeliner. It is 3.5 ml, so I'm, but I'm assuming this is like the normal size. I just don't know why it's so small. Maybe because of the brush. So this one is good for 6 months. I just opened this. I want to say I used it, yeah, 5 times or so. And ta-da, this is how it looks like. It is this extremely tiny little brush. And I'm so glad that I'm only using this for to draw a wing. Literally, all I do is just one flick. Do not go in with this and do a couple flicks. This is literally the hardest eyeliner I've ever had to work with. But the formula is good because my wing stays on. And that brush is so, so thin and good for just the wing. I tried to draw my whole eyeliner with it, like the part with lashes, and it was so difficult. So I would say I have a love-hate relationship with this eyeliner. Now moving on, uh, mascara which is in a tube and it comes with a wand so like you can't really see the progress. This is actually from Rimmel and I had this in my previous project pen too because this is the volume shake so you just shake it and it refreshes the formula which is why it's good for 12 months. In my 2019 project pen, I mentioned that the way I use mascara is honestly just one flick and only on the inner half because my eyes are just way too small so they just smudge. If I go uh, outside a little bit more, it smudges over here and sometimes it even smudges on the inside and I just realized that it smudges on the top part of my lash no my eyelid because I did more than one coat so the base uh, it's just so sad because I can't really use mascara but this is gonna last me a long while then so let me just let you hear I'm sure you heard that there is still so much left the whole thing just feels so wet and heavy and you can see that there's so much product on the brush so this is still relatively new and it's gonna last me a while. Definitely hope I finish that before 2020 ends. Next up, another brush product which you can't see. And this one is from BBB London. It's just called the Brow Build Gel. So it is just a brown tinted eyebrow gel. It is in the shade Indian Chocolate which I think is an adorable name. And it is so tiny because I actually got it in a Look Fantastic box. But hey, I guess it doesn't matter because these kind of things, you just want like a tiny brush to brush through your brows. So how big the tube is doesn't really matter to me. It looks pretty dry because maybe because the tube is small. But this is how it looks like and it's supposed to have fibers on it so that kind of like attaches to your brows. I really like this product although I've only used it I want to say a handful of times but I want to put it into the project and use it up before it dries out by itself. I almost missed out one product and it is this powder over here because I have it in my bag as like a touch up powder that I just throw inside. This is the Fit Me powder from Maybelline and I just have mine in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Let me show you where I am now. This was actually inside my project pen last year too but I did not make much of a progress because now I start to touch up less and less and this is where I'm beginning. There is no dent, no pen, nothing at all but there is kind of like hints of the ring. I feel like I can kind of see some rings underneath the powder. So if I do heat pen, it will definitely be in the middle because that seems like the lowest point. I think this is a very good touch up powder because over here there's actually a mirror and I lost the pack which I'll never use anyway. Those are the 20 products that I'm going to be working on for 2020. I hope to use them all up before any of them goes bad and if I finish it then I'll just start like a project 5 pen instead of doing a rolling project pen which I did last year and was honestly a little bit confusing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe it motivated you to start your own project pen and work on your own products. If you do, let me know in the comments down below so I can come and watch your project pen intros and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!